for today's cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. This energy is crazy. Mm-hmm. Does anybody else feel like they're being drawn and quartered? <laughs> drawn and quartered. It does. It just feels like you're being pulled in so many different directions that, you know. It does. It definitely does feel like that. And it was like Levine was talking about that birthing, like being in the birth canal. And that was very accurate as far as the energy. Uh huh. <sighs> I can, yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Wizard dude. Like, it's like, hmm. Hmm. A wizard it's dude has changes. has got some a lot of stuff to teach people. I mean, yep. he really does. Yep. And I I've learned things lately that I I didn't even want to know. <laughs> That's a lot of things I wasn't looking for, but apparently I needed to know. Well, if you didn't want to know it, you could have just been like, "Okay, I'm skipping past this." No, part. that's not how it works in my world. I mean, it was, did I really need to know that Jake Paul, that there was being considered him fighting Mike Tyson? No, you didn't. And no one needs to know that. And and I was no one sort cares of at appalled. And I honestly, I, I can say that I have never watched Jake Paul fight. At this point, I can firmly say no one cares about like him like legit well i think what he did because back in the youtube drama now what right when he did what he did there about the the japanese forest and it's like some of us remember that and so it's sort of hard to take somebody seriously after they do something that ridiculous Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (sighs) but even before that you could not take the dude seriously Along but, with that cryptocurrency scam or whatever that he I did. I didn't even know about that. I, that. I never watched him. I knew of him, but I never watched him. Vlog people. And and same thing, I, you know, because I have not been actively viewing boxing and stuff for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Used to. Used to keep up with all that stuff. You did, yes. And, you know, but from what I've heard, he's pretty good. But when I heard about him, that they was possibly going to fight Mike Tyson. Tyson is my age. He's 58. Mm -hmm. Jake Paul, what'd they say? He was 24? Yeah, but what? Mike Tyson still fights, doesn't he? Well, sort of, kind of. But now let me tell you something. The shelf life on boxers, that is a brutal, brutal sport. It is, but we don't know what he can do. Still. Well, I don't. I don't know. I'm not. You know, I certainly am not throwing throwing any shade on Tyson at all. Personally, would I like to see Tyson knock Young Punk's ass out? Absolutely. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Yeah, that's that's the only thing I'm rooting for in that situation is for him to get laid out by dude. Because now Tyson, yeah, he's got some age on him, but he's got street smarts. Yeah. He knows and how to fight. To, to hear a lot of these he people that were disparaging Tyson, ah, he's too old, he can't do, and he, uh, that ain't always true. No. But when you are pushing 60, and in two minutes when you're sparring and you're going all out, you cannot, people that's never done that, they can't imagine how hard that is. Mm-mm. No, they cannot. Uh, because we sparred when I was taking, you know, when I was doing martial arts. Yeah, and it was rough class. for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, we, beat the fuck up. Oh, yeah, we did. It was such fun. <laughs> it on, was dude. such like, fun. I came back with broken toes and broken fingers. <laughs> I want to do that again. <laughs> Come on. Ah, sit there and be sparring. And it. Go, pop. <laughs> the sensei, did you break another toe? Yeah. He's like, stop flip kicking. It's like, yeah. And and you keep you you reach down you you pull the toe back because ain't much you can do for a broken toe anyhow. No. And no. you finish the match. Yeah. Because if you need that knowledge in the real world, you can't sit there and have do overs. No. But I I don't know. It's one of those. Would well, I pay kinda... to see that match? No, I I couldn't. I wouldn't. Hell no! I'm not going to. Who would pay to see that match? Yeah, 
with lots Other of people. Other than to see Mike Tyson beat the shit out of some person. That's what they would be hoping. And, and But it's also the fact that the man's pushing 60. And he had some health issues not that long ago that he was in a wheelchair for a while. For real? Hmm. I see. I didn't hear about that. Well, you cannot have a living where you get repeatedly punched in the head. And I mean hardcore punched in the head and not have some kind of brain damage. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I mean, God, how do they function a lot of them? Well, you know, Muhammad you Ali they ended like up vegetables. Muhammad Ali ended up with uh, Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or some kind of something that was that they think was directly related to brain trauma. I can see that. I yeah. Can see that. Because physics still is. Mhm. And no matter how big and bad and tough somebody is, physics usually is going to win. You can do it for a while. That doesn't mean that you don't get out of it unscathed. Right. Some of the things that we do younger come back to haunt us when we're older. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the crazy things that, that was going on. And the other crazy thing that's, that was going on a couple of days ago, and I didn't even bother to cover the story because I knew that this is what was going to happen, that the AARO part of the Pentagon or whatever the hell it is, I, I didn't even, like I said, I, I did not do proper research on this one, folks, so just bear with me, had basically come out, Sean Kirkpatrick had signed a document that said that there was no evidence that there was any kind, that the UAPs were extraterrestrial or uh, that there were UFOs that had been recovered or reverse engineered. It was all bullshit. Yes. He we lied. knew that was going to happen. Uh -huh. And so I had watched a um, video today, and I'll give you the link on it. And this was the gentleman. Ross Coulthard is part of News Nation now. And he's the one that interviewed, um, oh, my God, his name just went out. Oh, the dude that started, what was his name? Help me. I have Help no idea. Me. I have no idea. As far as that went before Congress, the main dude, the gecko looking dude. I have no idea what his I'll name think of it is. here in a minute. Anyhow, ah, there it is. David Grush, thank you so much. I always read your description boxes on videos, folks. There's <laughs> lots of gems in there. He was the one that broke the story with David Grush as being the whistleblower of what's going on behind cr closed doors. And so he uploaded a video there on March 11th where he was di discussing the issue with somebody. It's called Daniel Sheehan. And he is the former Pentagon Papers attorney. And Sheehan has, he witnessed some of these things himself firsthand and i think it's in interesting because he's got some kind now for for all y'all true tin full hat people out there with the jesuits mm -hmm. i don't know enough about it other than i know that there is something that people are whispering about i don't because there's too many rabbit holes there is this is too many and i can't keep up with all of them which is, that's what um, Stephen Greer has said. People who have not thoroughly investigated and been on this UFO slash UAP trail, they have no clue. Mm -mm. And that includes these people in Congress that are wanting disclosure. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, and, yep. and so, but anyhow, Sheehan, and I did not go back and rewatch it again to take notes. There are other days I would have done that, but not today. He flat out said that Kirkpatrick lied. He didn't pull any punches. Now, being an attorney, both of these gentlemen are attorneys. Right. So they understood the implications of what they were saying and, and the world of shit that they could find themselves in if it's unsubstantiated. Mm -hmm. So this was huge. Yes. And nobody's covering it. Except us. Well, I'm sure there's other people out there. I think the reason nobody's covering it is because people are sort of... I don't know. The fact... It, it's trying to cover up the fact that the government is lying to us. Mm -hmm. 
and that ain't yeah people ain't really falling for it so they're trying to put that veil back up but the veil keeps slipping Mm -hmm. and slipping well and that was what they were uh, shen was talking about more the the fact that they lied to congress now these are not the first people that have lied to congress right but the fact that congress is not doing anything about it why are they not? And they discussed... But do they have a position of power to do anything about it? That's what they're saying, that there has been a severe breakdown in checks and balances in this nation, that no one branch was supposed to have more power than the other. Mm-hmm. And so they very much delve into that in this interview. And one of the things that they were talking about uh, repeatedly was Executive Order one two. Triple three is what they said. It's one, two, three, three, three. Yes, those repeating numbers again. Oh, they're all... And that this, I will leave you a link for this, and you can read through it. And like anything else in the world of legalese, it's circular, and none of it says anything. And all this stuff, if they're going to write this shit... It should be for the lowest educated person in the United States, not the highest. Because when they're talking above the heads of the people, they're putting the information out of, out of the hands of the people. Mm-hmm. And that's what they've done with all this. And that was the main takeaway from this. Somebody other than the people we're voting for is running our nation. Who the hell are they? What do they want? Right. I mean, we pretty well can tell what they want at this point. Yeah. 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 But Shan had said that they've known about this stuff for a long time and that even presidents who wanted information on these UAPs and stuff were denied that's problem. Yeah, th- see, you ain't supp- they ain't supposed to deny that sort of right. thing when they're when they ask for documentation. Right. They're legally obligated to, you know, supply that documentation. Mm-hmm. They cannot say yes, yeah, or you don't have access to mm-hmm. this. Well, it was like these members of like Congress what? that they were not allowed, as far as their security clearance. They're actually supposed to be, uh, as far as the bosses. Yeah, of these people in the Pentagon and stuff. Yeah, they're supposed to be the like overheads of them. Yes. So how right. how has it become ass backwards? Right. It's the same way everything else is ass backwards. And so within this interview, they're asking some very pertinent questions. Mm-hmm. And while you've got so many people in America, uh, this one gentleman, Coulthard, I think he's Australian. Right. And, but he is, he's an attorney. He knows more about the Constitution and American law than a lot of Americans, period. And that's shameful. It is. It is. It absolutely is. So, I mean, it's, shit is crucial. And like I said, I wish we had light and fluffy on some of this stuff. No, it, it's, there's times we can do the light and fluffy. But right now, it's a matter of trying to wake people up. Mm-hmm. It is. And people are so overwhelmed with a lot of this stuff. They don't know what to do with some of the information. They don't know what to do. We've right. got a lot of people who would do, but nobody's giving viable solutions. Well, it's sort of like that ADHD paralysis. You really want to do everything, but there's so much all at once. You just sort of like it overwhelms you. Well, it's like this... you were saying, it overwhelms you. And then it just sort of like you just sort of sit there. And the mm-hmm. only thing that you can really do is bitch about it online. So, right. You know, well, and as far as what can you really do with, with elections and with voting? And I'm all for that. But if the people that we're voting for and electing get up there and they just become part of the problem, then what do you do? Other things that could be done, all right, they're still doing some of this stuff. We were listening to the, the, the gentleman that they had labeled the QAnon shaman. He's not a stupid man. 
and and because that he looked different he's not like i said he's not a stupid man he's a veteran and that they there was somebody from uh mainstream propaganda Mm -hmm. let's call it for what it is that had had stated on tv that he should have been pew-pewed just for walking in now they've got video they did release video to the public of that the the police officers and stuff escorted these people through they stayed inside the velvet rope nobody was doing any of this stuff yeah and so this this is how dangerous it is and the ones that are asleep but i'm trying to think of like if there is footage of these people like being oh they didn't want that released they got it released <sighs> This is why, as far as any of this secret bullshit stuff, it needs to stop. Yeah. And and that was one of the things that Coulthard is talking about. He's he's like, this is, I think he may have used the, the term uh, crimes against humanity to have knowledge of this of these things as far as the UAPs, mm-hmm. where they came from, where, what they are and stuff like that, because that impacts not only this country, but the entire world. Well, that is a crime against humanity mm-hmm. because that literally, you know, if, if there's aliens on this world, people need to know it. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so. you know, it, that's, it was... It's a very sobering period of time, but a very much, uh, and uh, Sheehan said that he definitely would agree. He had talked to Kirkpatrick face-to-face, hadn't gone to one of the underlings, Kirkpatrick is the one that was over AARO, who had said he was going to, you know, said he would be willing to testify in front of Congress publicly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of these people. And, and these people know people that can't. They know people who know people. Is that, they do, because some of these people are truly afraid. <sighs> well, considering the fact that you had a whistleblower for Boeing that was just unalived, mysteriously. If these people are afraid, why don't they wake up and be like, hey, there's an issue? Well, because and why start don't fixing they? fixing it. The, the ones that are the whistleblowers, they are afraid. Because they have seen what has happened to people like Julian Assange. Yeah. You yeah. know? And, and it's just, this is a huge clusterfuck that only God can fix, for real. And now, does he expect us to do our part? Yes. I don't know what that part is currently, other than to continue to make other people aware and to pray. I don't know. I, that's that's how I approach each and every day. I have a tremendous amount of questions. Sometimes I get answers. A lot of times I get frustration, horrible amounts of frustration. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of us that know what needs to be done, but we can't do because that's, you don't want to be drawn into doing the wrong thing. Right. And I don't know why prayer seems ineffective at times. It's not. We need to remember that. Just because we can't see it, that does not mean it's not having an effect. Right. I mean, we had prayed about a situation earlier this evening, and within minutes, got a phone call, and that there was there was relief, there was some resolution. Oh, there was. Mm-hmm. See, I didn't get that update. Yeah, no, it's all right. And it was just with a family member. Mm-hmm. And so I, like I said, I'll, I'll leave the link to this, and you can go and listen to it. And I'll leave the link to uh, now, Sean Stryker. Uh, God love you. I know that you can read this executive order and know what it means. Sean's brilliant. Yeah. He he delves into all that legal ease stuff and he makes it seem simple. Mm-hmm. And he can explain it. He can interpret it for other people, which is a very needed thing. Right. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure we've got other people that, that may not, that, that they have similar skills or something. They may just, you know sort of stay in the shadows here on the pirate ship Mm -hmm. and that's okay 
Right. It so is. share this information. I mean, hell, you don't even have to give us credit, folks. Share these links that we give you. Mm-hmm. You know, because with it, it's about the information. It's not who's giving you the information. Right. Right. We just we just voices crying in the wilderness. And that's okay. But prayers, prayers, prayers. And I will the tell you, crying into the wilderness are uh-huh. valid too. Yeah, we'll prepare you the way of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And that was just like got to looking uh, as far as because we we do celebrate God's appointed times, and one of them is Passover. And got to looking when that is, because I usually start about a month ahead trying to get him, you know, what I'm going to do and different things like that, barring him for a scene. And it's on April 22nd this year. <laughs> 22. Imagine that. Oof. Yep. It's going to be an interesting Passover. Oh, yeah. And that's where we have noticed for years. I mean, years. We've been doing this for years. Watch that thing that actually had loved, watch the Passover thing will come through fruition again. Death angel. Yeah, that mm. the little death angel is gonna, mm. gonna come knocking again. Mm. But it's it's one of those that the devil absolutely ramps up his game before God's pointed times. Mm-hmm. Always does. Always. And so that's where we do. We start the rebuking and binding and pleading the blood and the playing of Shirley Caesar, hold my mule, and Be lots gone. of other stuff. Be gone, I rebuke you in the name of God. Uh-huh. Yeah, in the name of that. Jesus, absolutely. So, so final thoughts, kid. Power of Christ compels you. What? That's it. That is it. Keep that close to your heart. Not today, Satan. Not mm-hmm. today. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. Mm-mm. So, if you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. Put your thoughts in the comment section. I don't know. YouTube's doing something weird with the comments again. I don't know why. Who knows why they do what they do? I don't know. Even GOG's having issues. Well, I think it's just trying to take people's, trying to silence people. Uh, you know, in, in whatever way that they can. Uh-uh. Could be. Could Absolutely. Be. I, I, no, I ain't going to let the, the rocks cry out. I'm going to keep crying out one way or the other. Re- mm-hmm. Little That's frogs. <laughs> Little frogs in the rain. I love the frogs. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. You doing your thing? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all. Have a good... Yeah. <laughs> know that you are loved. Mm-hmm. Prayer. Continuous prayer. Mm-hmm. For each other. Yep, yep. For, for everybody. Yeah, for everybody. For mm-hmm. humanity. Because it matters. Yep. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Mm-hmm. We will. Bye. Bye.